Hey, this is Jabril, a.k.a. Mr. Think Outside the Box, also known as Chocolate Man, coming at you right now from beautiful Medellin, Colombia, in El Poblado. Absolutely amazing out here. And I know a lot of people always saying, I can't afford to go there or there, so they want to know how much does it cost to live in these certain countries around the world. And I'm going to talk about Colombia here today. Um, wow. Even before I end this video, I recommend coming here. Even if you gotta spend all your money. I mean, this place is absolutely amazing. Um, first, I wanna talk about flights. You can get flights um, if you're leaving from the United States, if you're leaving from like a major place. Um, something like Spirit for really low flying into Medellin or going to Bogota. So flights are really not that big um, of an issue. And I also want to talk about um, accommodations uh, real quick. Um, right now, I'm on the top floor of um, one of the most epic buildings in El Poblado, Medellin, Colombia. And this is like a fully furnished building. And um, you'll see here the view of the pool, the city. It's like almost majestic. And so this is at the top of echelon um, of the price points. And here, the average price of an apartment is about probably about a thousand dollars. They have one bedrooms, two bedrooms. I don't know if they have threes. Um, and then they have some buildings, like I know I was talking to my other friend, she pays about a thousand dollars a month for her one bedroom. And then I'm here with my homeboy, uh, Justin. He has like a two bedroom. It's kind of, it's not the biggest, but it's really nice. And it's about 800 square feet, but he has this huge wraparound balcony. And that's about $2,000 a month for, with all his utilities. And then uh, it was last night, I got to go visit my homeboy, Dwayne. Um, he lives in Poblado about, probably about six minutes away. And he's only paying $600 a month and he has a epic view of the city and it's a two-bedroom apartment he has security um, and let me talk about that real quick too why this building is so much I mean it's got the pool it's got a cinema sauna gym basically a full and many building, you know, 24-hour security, but also the same with Dwayne's building, but his building was unfurnished when he got it. And I think he signed a one-year lease, and so that was the difference, but I don't think he has a pool, he doesn't have some of the amenities, but it's a really nice building, really nice apartment. So those are the kind of prices you can expect here in El Poblado. I don't know too much outside of um, El Poblado. We went to and Vengada, uh, those prices you can normally find in an apartment, a two bedroom for maybe four or five hundred dollars a month. Um, but you know, if, if there's something for every price point out here. And then talk about hotels. I know about hotels. I've stayed at a bunch of different hotels. I mean, four stars. I'm not talking about suites or anything like I've done, but I'm just talking about regular rooms. Four stars, you're looking at about $120 a night. Three stars, you're looking at about $80 a night. And like two stars, two and a half stars, you're looking at about 50, 50 bucks a night or so. And then hostels, I stayed at a hostel one night and um, I had a private room and that was $40 um, a night. And if you wanted just a hostel bed, I think it was about 12, 13 bucks a night. So that's um, accommodations and all that. If you have any questions um, about it, you know, like I said, just leave a question. Well, now we're gonna get into the food. Now um, let's talk about food because I love to eat. I've been here about a month and I've been to so many different restaurants. Um, you know, if you're going out for dinner or two around here in El Poblado, you're looking at about, without drinks, just food for two, like $40 if you go into like a restaurant, sit down type of thing, probably about 20 bucks a person. Not, you know, over the top, but, you know, not the cheapest. Um, but if you go outside, we went uh, to Envengado and, you know, kind of sit down and you're looking at more like six, seven dollars a person. So, um, you know, just depending on what your tastes are and kind of the how upscale and if you want the nice, really upscale, you know, they have that where it's like, $50, $60 a person, um, you know, for a meal. But they have everything for basically every budget. Now let's talk about fast food though. Um, they've got all the restaurants, Subway, McDonald's and all that. But I'm gonna talk about my Subway cookies. I mean, I absolutely love Subway, but you know, back home it's like three cookies for a dollar or a dollar 29 out here. It's, I bought six cookies and it was like $6. I was like, I was handing her a 10,000, which is like, you know, $5. And I was like, for six cookies, I thought it was gonna be enough. She's like, no amigo. You need some more dinero, and I was like, what? And so expect um, American food, McDonald's and all that to be about the same or even more expensive than you're gonna pay back home. Um, other fast foods, um, if you want salads, just seven, eight bucks, kind of very similar prices to America. Because basically, if you're eating the fast food kind of stuff, you have money to waste, basically. So they're gonna charge you the same prices or even a premium to get the American kind of fast foods out here. And then um, I wanna talk about street food, too. Um, I haven't really had a chance to dive into all the street food, but you can find street food for really 
really cheap, um, you know, like a dollar, if you like two dollars for a meal if you're looking for some cool street food out here. And um, now I want to talk about transportation with you real quick. Um, how to get around town. Me, I've been kind of bougie. All I've done is taxis. I haven't gotten on the bus yet. I haven't done the metro, but I will do some of these things. But taxis are really cheap and affordable. I mean, you're taking a taxi for like 15 minutes. It's only like $8, maybe $7 or so. So it's really... You don't want to do anything else. Like, I mean, why hop on a bus? But a bus, if you want to hop on a bus, it's only 50 cents. Um, and then if you want to hop on the metro, I think it's about $2 or so. So there's so many different ways to get around town out here. And it was also um, just recently rated one of the most innovative cities um, in the world, um, or at least in South America. Um, I can't remember it exactly. But um, Medellin here, it's really easy to get around. So I want to talk about nightlife real quick. Um, absolutely love going out here in Medellin. Beautiful women, beautiful people, beautiful culture. Um, and here in Pueblado, um, in Medellin, um, it's absolutely amazing. But I've been to some other areas, never had a problem. You know, like what you see on TV, absolutely amazing people. No one's like even gave me like the evil eye. Like, what you doing, son? Like, nah, like none of that. Haven't even seen a fight out here yet. I mean, probably will one of these days. Someone's got to get drunk and start swinging. But um, I haven't seen anything yet. So I felt more than safe because I think that's one of the biggest reservations people have when they're coming out here. But it's been absolutely amazing. But um, I want to talk about the different price points um, if you're going out here in this city. Um, if you want to do it Big Willie style like I did the other night, right? You know, I bought two bottles in the club. A lot cheaper than America. So I bought two bottles um, of old parts. Like get, buy one, get one free in the club. You know, really kind of nice club. You see the pictures here. Um, for the whole night, for the two bottles and, you know, mixes, there's only like 220,000 um, pesos which is about $110. So, you know, two bottles, you know, that's like $55 a bottle. I mean, you're living. Um, if you're going out and just buying a regular drink or beer, you can get it for like three, three bucks or so. So it's nothing really out of this world. And if you're in like nicer clubs, like uh, we were on this rooftop club, Envy, in the top of the Charlie, um, a glass of Old Par was like 20000 which is like $10, so it is. it does get a little pricey when you go to like the nicer places, but right next door at the Thai restaurant when I ordered the same drink, it was like 5 bucks. So that's the kind of thing um, you can expect out here um, for the nightlife. Oh, and I want to talk about entrances in the club. Sometimes you do have to pay entrance to some clubs. You're looking at anywhere from like $2.50, or if you're at like a top premium club, like $10. So nothing like crazy places like back home where, when I was in London, there was like, yo, that's like 20 no, it was like yeah, like $35 just to get in some of the clubs in London. So none of that madness out here. And then I want to talk about how much people make out here income. You know, cash money, baby. And um, minimum wage out here is $300 a month, okay? So that's what you're working with. So if you're an American, minimum wage in America, I think it's like maybe $1,300, $1,400 a month if you're working eight hours a day, you know, 40 hours a week kind of thing. And out here it's $300. So really think about that when you're out here. Your money does go a lot further um, when you're doing things. So, and then so for example, when the maid came earlier today um, to come cook, clean, she was here from like eight in the morning to like four in the afternoon. And regular price, what she normally asked for, like at a normal standard rate, would be twenty dollars for the day. But you know, since we're generous, we you know gave her a nice little tip, you know, on the end of it. And she does anything, goes cook, you know, goes runs and gets the groceries, does all that, um, you know, for us. On a, talk about like massages like I love getting massages you know if you want like a private masseuse to come to your house um, you're looking at about 60,000 pesos 50,000 pesos which is about $30 for like you know an hour hour and 20 minutes and you know full service um, absolutely amazing and now I want to talk about if you want to go shopping out here right shopping can get expensive um, especially if you're gonna buy electronics or anything like that, do that before you leave. You're looking at prices like double what you would pay back home at times. So if you wanna get anything like an iPhone, a laptop, anything, don't think because it's a, uh, a lower income kind of country, your price is gonna be lower, you're paying like double for what you would pay um, back in the um, United States. And then going to the mall, you can find good deals, but don't think like because you're in Colombia, you're gonna be finding like cheap stuff, it's gonna be just as expensive or even more expensive than you're gonna be paying back home. So don't think you're coming to Colombia, you're getting the nice clothes, the nice brand for, you know, um, like a cheap price. But if you go to like the local stores and get local Colombian clothing, which is amazing. I've seen some, some of the most amazing things out here. You can get really good deals. But if you're looking to come get like your Gucci's your, and all that stuff, you're going to be paying a premium um, out there. Um, and then I want to talk about grocery stores real quick with you. Um, for example, if you're going to be buying like a bottle of... Um, 
say like Nuvo, or you're gonna buy a bottle of Grey Goose out here, you're paying like double the price that you would pay like back home. I was in the store like, damn, this is like twice as expensive. You're buying like a bottle of wine, um, like Barefoot or something out here. It's like double the price of what you would pay back in the United States. So don't think you're gonna come here and be like, oh, it's super cheap. No, you're paying like literally double the price what you would pay um, back at home. But that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out. If you have any questions, you know, feel free, hit me up on Facebook, leave a comment below, and um, I'll get those questions and ask for you. Take care, and Chop the Man signing out. Peace.